plus 3 m guide dot d dot equals i 782 f 6 ddb 1 co 3 1 e 3 f s r c equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 21 slash 12 slash 48 65 c 8 at 0 0 0 0 5 7 8 0 image m 1 0 3 underscore 1 5 1 6 5 3 7 9 7 2 4 3 0 dot jpg height equals 382 width equals 306 alt equals two nando's restaurants in Western Australia were fined $20,000 each for hygiene failures and rat activity by the Department of Health class equals blocks bordering share, greater than 2. Nando's outlets in Perth have been described as critically non-compliant with health standards after failing inspections in the last two years. Nando's restaurants in Belmont and Northbridge have been fined, for hygiene failures by the Department of Health with an inspector noticing rat activity and extremely high rodent activity apostrophe. The restaurants were accused of having filthy cooking areas, poor cleaning and hygiene as well as high instances of pests, according to the West. Advertising Gin Read invented by Teeds a photo from the Northbridge store, below, recently released under Freedom of Information Laws reveals dirty, fours, solidified grease and fat down the sides of cooking equipment. Plus 3M guide dot D dot equals IE 96 C 59 A 26 24 BF 7 CFSRC equals HTTP colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash I slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 21 slash 12 slash 48 65 C 8 A 1 0 0 0 0 5 7 8 0 this underscore photo underscore from underscore the North Bridge underscore store A 1 0 4 underscore 1 5 1 6 5 3 8 0 6 9 1 9 8 dot JPG height equals 388 width equals 634 alt equals this photo from the Northbridge store shows dirty floors, solidified grease and filthy furniture class equals blocks bordering share, greater than rodent droppings can also be seen on floors and stainless steel benches, as well as mold growing on floor tiles and exhaust vents covered in grease. After the inspections, Nando's Australia was fined $20,000 and an additional $1,745.50 in costs for failing to maintain cleanliness standards using unclean equipment and not eradicating pests. The fine comes after, another Nando's store in Cloverdale was discovered to have fallen below required standards for cleanliness in 2016. A photo of the Belmont store, below, taken by a health inspector shows the areas around ovens, grills, fryers and sinks covered in grease and grime, and the inspector's report said the overall standard of cleaning, including floors, walls and fixtures, must improve. Nando's Australia, was fined $20,000 plus $1,745.50 costs in February 2017 for the state of their Belmont store. Plus 3M guide dot D dot equals I 49 D 99 AB 89 BBC 88 76 SRC equals HTTP colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash I slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 21 slash 12 slash 48 65 C 8 C 9 0 0 0 0 0 5 7 8 0 image A 99 underscore 1 5 1 6 5 3 7 9 2 0 9 7 9 dot JPG height equals 471 width equals 634 alt equals this photo of the Belmont store shows ovens, grills, pipes, and sinks coated in grease and damp, grime class equals blocks border and share, greater than and guide dot dot equals id3 e2 a13 cd1770 ccbsrc equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash i slash pix slash 2018 slash 01 slash 21 slash 12 slash 48 65 c8 c3 0005780 image a101 underscore 1516537931845 dot jpg height equals 284 width equals 634 alt equals Tom's Fresh Meat Market at Belmont Forum Shopping Center, pictured, was also fined $3,000 and a further $1,340.50 in costs over lack of cleanliness and the presences of rats and pests class equals blocks bordering share, greater than two Western Australian more outlets, Spearwood and Nedlands, have been convicted, of health code breaches on previous occasions. A Nando's spokesperson said the food chain was obviously very disappointed with these convictions and said the food safety issues were immediately rectified. In the last 16 months we have implemented and maintained a number of measures to ensure ongoing compliance, she said.
This has included the retraining of management and staff so they fully understand our food safety practices and follow the approved Nando's cleaning and maintenance guidelines and requirements. We have also increased this focus across our other restaurants to remove likelihood of reoccurrence. The spokeswoman said the Northbridge and Belmont Forum restaurants have had a number of subsequent inspections from relevant local council authorities which have all been compliant. Four other businesses were fined a combined $43,835 for Food Act convictions including storing potentially hazardous food under temperature control and food